Hi guys, Jan here with the new 3D Quick Tips video and today we will talk about the customizing marking menus in Maya. I guess that everybody knows marking menus in Maya because you just have to, it will speed up your workflow just insanely. So I won't talk about what the marking menus are, but at the end of the video I will show you some of the marking menus you don't necessarily know about. We will start with building our own marquee menu. So there are actually two types of marquee menu. One is the hotbox marquee menu, which is in these segments, which are indicated with these little lines. So this is east menu, this is south, north and west. These are actually the only menus in Maya you can edit by default. The menus which appear when you are holding the shift or control, uh, you can't edit by default. You can edit the Maya scripts which are used for building entire UI, which are not accessible to the user by default, but you can hack them. I will make a video about it probably later because it's like more advanced Mel stuff. So let's go into making our, like editing, first of all, like this menu, for example, in the south. We will go to settings, preferences, and marquee menu editor. And in here, we either create our own, or we can just edit the one which is in here. So that's hotbox south. And we go to edit marquee menu. We can edit over here. So with a right click, you can just delete the menu. So that's what I usually do because I don't need sets. I don't need the graph editor. I don't need dope sheet for modeling. Sometimes I need hypergraph. So let's put it here. I definitely want the hypershade. I don't need the node editor. Actually, instead of hypergraph, let's put the node editor here. And I would love to have a like UV editor. So the best thing you can do is instead of editing a menu item and filling in everything, you have to find the right command and fill it in. The easiest way is to just drag and drop stuff from your shelf with the middle drag and drop. You can just drop the stuff from the shelf to the marquee menu and then it fills all these for you. So right now we can test that marking menu over here just with the press of left mouse button. And you see that it works. So just save it, apply settings. And when we open the hotbox and press to the south, we see our edited menu. I also just like to tweak the hotbox and show only the modeling and hide the paint specific menus because they are here anyway. So this is how my hotbox usually looks like because I have access to all the stuff from the from the top menu and my custom marquee menus around. So that's the first type, that's a hotbox style. The other one is the hotkey style as I mentioned before that's accessed by holding a key like a shift and right click or left click and this is the hotkey marking menu so let's let's build one very quickly create the marking menu the new one just give it some name and once again just populate it with the tools from the shelf so let's do center pivot delete history priest transforms let's say over to the right i want the submenu for creating cube sphere and other stuff let's edit the pop-up submenu it will open another marquee menu editor and let's drag a few of these over here okay can close that can right click and edit the name let's say create save and close and this little icon over here 
is for what they call linear item and that's actually these menus so we can also create these menus separately let's put like combine extract phase mirror over there we can test it it looks exactly as we expected if you drag to the right to the sub menu we have all the stuff we expected so let's save close this apply settings over here we check if it's a hotbox style or a hotkey editor it will be accessible and hotkey editor so choose the hotkey editor and apply settings and you can see that it's right now accessible in the hotkey editor so let's open hotkey editor i made a video about how to make hotkeys previously so i will link it somewhere here so you can check it out how to make your hotkeys to look for your marking menu just type in the name of the marking menu which was jj and you can see the user marking menus is over here uh, right now it says both press and release that's because the mark menu always disappears when you when you let the button go that's why we need two commands for that i will assign it to let's say right now to whatever to number one let's say i know that's that's a different hotkey a low quality display yes i want to replace that and yes i want to create the release command too because that's what Maya says for marking menus to work properly so yes it's assigned to both save and close apply settings close this one once I'm in the viewport hold one key which was assigned and left click I have my marking menu over here I can go here create a polygon cube or if I can remember room create a cylinder that's my own custom marking menu so these are two types of marking menus the hotbox one which is here and the hotkey one as for those tips i mentioned that probably everybody knows the shift and right click menu which is for creating stuff i guess the most of you know the control or command right click for converting the selection but there are also marking menus for selection translation rotation and scale if you hold q for select and left mouse button you can switch to paint select you can in the select you can change the mark you or camera based selection and soft selection so you don't have to go to tool settings over here same goes for the translation when you hold the w and left mouse button you have access to all the axis preferences same goes to rotation with e same goes for the scale with r and left mouse button and there are also marking menus in uh, uv editor right now when you are in the uv editor and you shift right click you have just this menu but when you are editing the uvs and shift and right click you have tons of tools accessible over here instead of going into menus again if you in faces you can with the shift right click access the different tools with command or control right click you have access to converting selection as you do in the viewport however you cannot edit or add your own uv marking menus but as i said it's accessible via hacking the default maya marking menus but it's that's a different story that's all about the marking menus the next week will be the last maya customization video and that will be about moving all your settings all the ui setup workspaces hotkeys marking menus to the new maya installation which can be done automatically but it can destroy some stuff or to move it to the studio for example which could be tricky because the studio is using their own setup 
and you have to merge it with your setup. So I will show you how to understand what's actually in those preference files. Stay tuned for the next time. Subscribe to the channel and share the videos if you like them. And see you next time. Thanks.